Welcome grade 11s. So uh, you've hopefully looked at the two previous videos regarding the cost the diagram and also how to get to the reduction formula. Now this is going to be the application of it now. So this is all about application. First things first is we never use 270 degrees to, to convert any angle. Okay. So never even look at 270. You know, they be tempted by that because sometimes it feel like, yeah, I don't know what to do. Let me just do something. Um, yeah. So we only all the reduction formula uh, that we apply is around 360 minus 180 minus 180 plus, and then also the 90 plus theta, 90 minus theta. And uh, then just all the normal angles in the first quadrant. Okay, how to use the cast diagram? That's what this is about. So, you go, that's cast. Okay. So we've done the foundation now, so you know exactly where to apply what. So I'm just going to write down sine theta, cos theta, tan theta, and all of them are positive over here. Okay, over here we are working with 180 minus theta. So whenever you see that, you know that if it's sine 180 minus theta, it would be equal to a positive sine theta. And we're going to continue like this just with cos. So cos 180 minus um, theta would be minus cos theta and for tan the same thing if it's tan 180 minus theta it would be equal to minus tan theta now here at the bottom we are working this angle which is 180 plus theta so if we wrote down sine 180 plus theta it would be equal to minus sine theta. If it's one cos 180 plus theta, it's equal to negative cos theta. And if it's tan 180 plus theta, it's equal to positive tan theta. And over here, we're working with 360 minus theta. So again, if it's sine 360 minus theta, it is equal to negative sine theta. If it is cos 360 minus theta, it's equal to plus cos theta. If it's tan 360 minus theta, it's equal to negative tan theta. And um, again, you see that they correlate with all of them and then do not forget the reduction formula the 90 minus theater and 90 plus theater um, so don't forget those with your application I would really suggest strongly suggest that you make a good summary of this um, and include the reduction formula around 90 90 uh, minus theta, 90 plus theta. Um, let me just write them down here at the top. So, sine 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta. Cos 90 minus theta is equal to sine theta. Over here, sine 
90 plus theta is equal to cos theta and cos the only exception 90 plus theta is equal to negative sine theta so these are all your identities well reduction formula for the cos diagram now we're going to move over to examples so the rest of this video is about examples how to apply and all of that so pay careful attention and work with me through each question so when we're doing examples um, I have this habit of whenever I start with a question that I know the cost diagram will be applied I quickly write down the cost diagram just wherever I can on the page and understanding what takes place Okay, so the first one, cos 180 plus theta, we know 180 is there, 180 plus is in this quadrant, the third quadrant, and only tan is positive, so I know cos will be negative cos theta. Second example, sine 360 plus theta. Okay, for this one, let's move back to the cost diagram. So we've got zero. We go all the way around to 360. Now it says 360 plus theta. So we are right back over here, right? Which is the same as the first quadrant. This is the first quadrant where all of them will be positive. So whenever you have a 360 plus, it's the exact same as uh, with the first quadrant. So over here, sine 360 plus theta is just equal to sine theta. Number three, tan 180 minus theta. So we write over there, 180 minus theta. Only sine is positive, so tan is also negative. So this was like the introductory example. So let's move on to more challenging examples. For the next questions, the question states, the next three questions, express as a ratio with, acute, with an acute angle. Okay, so we've got tan 317 degrees, 317 degrees, and we need to express this as a trigonometric ratio in terms of an acute angle. Okay, so my question always is, which of the following numbers are closest to this one? 180, 90, or 360 and you can clearly see that 360 is closest to this one right so we can express this angle as the following and this is important that you test that the value of what is in this bracket 360 minus 43 is equal to 317 in that uh, what we started with so that we did not change the actual expression okay so we're confident 360 minus 43 is 317 and we are then currently in the fourth quadrant 360 minus which is a negative so this becomes minus 10 43 that's the answer to this question Okay, let's move on to the next example, and this is cos 164, and again, let's ask the question, which angles are closest to this number between 90, 180, and 360, and 180 is by far the closest, so if you want to check 180, minus 16 degrees is equal to 164 so we look at our cast diagram and we ask the question 180 minus is right over there it's a negative for cos so therefore this would be minus cos 16 and that is an expression in terms of an acute angle 
And now let's move on to the next example. So the sixth example here is sine 431. So let's ask the question, which angle is closest? 90, 180, 360, 360 is by far the closest. So we can express this as sine back at 360 plus 71. Let's test, is 360 plus 71 431? Yes, it is. And remember, we are back in the first quadrant. We've gone around and now we're 360 plus again. And this angle is smaller than 90 degrees, so therefore we're still in the first quadrant. And all of them are positive over there, so this will just be sine 71. So the next one is a more complicated one, um, but it's quite nice to work with these questions. Okay, when applying these um, reduction formula, the number always comes before the unknown or the angle. So keep that in mind. Later on I will show you how to transition this if it's the other way around. But we're not there yet. Let's just work through this one. So sine 90 minus x um, is using the reduction formula 90 minus x and we know that that will become cos x. Sine 360 plus x, so we're back in the first quadrant, it's just sine x. Sine 180 plus x, okay, so we are in the third quadrant, where we know only tan is positive, so this will be minus sine x, and then cos 180 plus we're also again back in the third quadrant. Cos is also negative there. So it's a negative. Okay, the, these two negatives, if you divide, it becomes a plus. The cos and that cos x, these two cancel out. So our final answer is a positive sine squared x.